Sailorville Lake is the reason why. The lake level went up more than five feet in the past 24 hours, preventing floodwaters from reaching Des Moines. WHO 13's Roger, uh, Jason Parkin, I want to say Roger Riley is everywhere. <laughs> Jason Parkin is live at Jester Park. Plenty of closures because of the rising levels there. No, I'm not Roger Riley. I'm not the road warrior. I don't, I don't put on the miles that he does. I can't wear, I can't wear his shoes. Uh, yes, I'm out here at Sailorville Lake at Jester Park. I'm downstream from the uh, High Trestle Bridge, upstream from the Mile Long Bridge. We're right across the spillway from Big Creek. And of course, the concern out here is the holiday weekend coming up and people wanting to spend some time out here, do some camping, some recreating. Uh, the areas that will be affected at Jester Park are east and, and the north sides of the park, campgrounds two and three. And if you're talking about Jester Park and Sailorville, you're talking about places like Cherry Glen, Oak Grove Beach, uh, Sandpiper Ramp, Northwest Jester Park Drive, Lakeview, the main boat ramp. Those are the places that are going to be affected. Now, I'll have Chris pan down. We just had a boat go by, and they apparently don't like me because they're trying to mess up my life shot, and the water's kind of cloudier here. But if you look at these piles of stones, we've been putting them there about every half hour. And so the shoreline has crept in about five feet, and we think the, the river level here has risen about probably five inches in the last two hours. So it was about 850 feet in the middle of the day today. Uh, it'll be about 854 tomorrow, although the level of the way it's rising now, it might be more than that. When it peaked last month, it was at 860 feet. And I'll have Chris, if he can, about halfway up this uh, gravel drive here, you'll see some uh, a line of some debris here. That's from the last peak, that black stripe of kind of debris. And then that parking lot up there we think is going to be underwater. This uh, will all peak on the 6th of July, this uh, Sailorville Reservoir at 876 feet. If you're wondering, the spillway is at 884 feet and the record that was set back in 1993, 892 feet. So this reservoir still has a long rise ahead of it into the fifth or sixth day of July. And that, of course, is going to affect lots of camping areas out here. For now, we'll send things back to the studio. OK, thanks so much, Jason. A lot of great perspective there. Perfect visuals for illustrating all of this.